Hey, what's up guys? This is JY Smart Tech here again. And today I'll be explaining to you guys about what Docker is, demonstrate how to go through installing things using Play With Docker, and explain to you guys why it's impressive to utilize it. I'll be, I'll be showing you guys how to install Drupal through using Play With Docker today, and now we can go right to it. Um, first and foremost, I'll be showing you guys the difference between Docker and virtual machine technology and explain why containers are the future of technology-backed businesses today. And now I'll show you guys what each of these terms mean and what they are to start off. So, um, container is a standard unit of software that packages up code and all its dependencies so the application runs quickly and reliably from one computing environment to another. So what this means is that containers can run applications on top of the host operating system and the Docker itself. Docker container that you can see right here is a lightweight standalone executable package of software that includes everything that is needed to run an application, which is the code, runtime, system tools, system libraries, and settings. Ultimately, this can allow multiple servers running all the time instead of having to set up your own server every time when you want to use it. And next, right here, you see is the virtual machine. And this is an abstraction of physical hardware turning one server into many servers. Um, the hypervisor right here allows multiple virtual machines to run on a single machine, and each virtual machine include a full copy of the operating system. Um, and the reason why containers are the future of the technology-backed businesses are because of its efficiency and the process. Ultimately, containers can allow multiple servers running all the time instead of having to set up your server every time that you want to use it. And moving on, I'll show you guys an example of installing Drupal through Play With Docker. This is the Play With Docker right here. And if you click start, um, this is a system where you can play around interactively. And if you see right here, you can see that the containers are temporary for four hours and it'll be automatically deleted when it expires. Now we're gonna create a new instance and go ahead and install Drupal. First, if you see right here, you can see that we have all the codes and commands that are necessary to set up the Drupal. And we're gonna copy this command in the new instance console. First, we're going to add a new instance. And we're going to put the copied command right here. And next, we're going to use the lsla command to verify that I'm in the correct directory. And after that, we're gonna put Docker composing to define multiple containers, networks, and volumes in a configuration files. The Docker Compose is right here. We're going to copy this. And paste right here. And this is all the commands showing. And then after that, we are going to use the Docker Compose up command which it will allow to download both the Drupal and Postgres images to my server. 
So if we go ahead and do that right here, it's extracting and downloading all the all the all the things right here and. Um, Uh, we'll just wait for a little bit for that to complete. This shows all the Postgres right here. And after that, to open the Drupal container in the browser, we'll click on the 80 button here. And there you go. This is a fresh instance of Drupal 8 just by using Play With Docker. And obviously I'm gonna choose English. I will put it as standard. And what you wanna do is put it as a Postgres SQL and um, the database name is shown right here. Here are the options that, here are the things that you wanna put. So standard Postgres SQL and um, database name Postgres, database username Postgres, database password Postgres and select advanced options and all this good stuff. So what we'll wanna do is put this right here. I think the password was Postgres also, yeah. And go into advanced options, the host will also be named Postgres and port number is 5432. And if we go ahead and save and continue, this is just uh, installing Drupal and we can wait for a little bit until this finishes. And finally, adding credentials to complete the installation. And here we're gonna go Drupal. Inside email address, I'm just gonna put my, um, the one that I'm using for class, which is JOI Smart Tech. Username is JOI Smart Tech. Password, one, two, three, four, just because it's gonna be automatically deleted in four hours or when I log out. I uh, don't think this should matter. And when I save and continue, here you go. Um, this is what it looks like to create a Drupal site by using a Play With Docker playground. And this was a basic walkthrough of what Docker is and demonstrating how to go through installing things using Play With Docker, the difference between that and the virtual machine and why it is very useful to use it. Um, thank you for watching and remember to like the video and subscribe to JY Smart Tech. Thank you.